Hi, this is Annette with digitalphotographyhowto.com and today we're going to learn how to resize a picture for emailing or for an easier way to upload it to like Costco or Walmart to print it. Because you can see right here that even after I cropped this picture, it's almost 35 inches by 25 inches. And so I still like to keep the same quality, but I'm just gonna make the picture a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna go up to image, adjust, oh sorry, actually image size. And then right here it gives us all of our options. Now you can either change it by the pixels or you can change it by the inches. And you always have to make sure that you have constrained proportions checked because if you don't, it's going to warp your picture. It'll either get too skinny and squish or too fat squished. So I always like to keep my resolution at 300 because I want it to be able to print really clearly. I'm going to choose the width at about 16 or 12. And then you can see that this picture is not cropped perfectly to be an 8 by 10 because when I put it to a 12, it's almost 9 inches. So if I did this as a 10, it would just be a little bit short, so it would be 7 and a half by 10, which is still okay. All it's going to do is crop just a little bit off the sides to make it an 8 by 10. But that is one thing that you really have to make sure of when you're going to be printing an 8 by 10, because it doesn't print the full size of your digital camera. It will print it perfectly as a 4x6 or bigger than an 8x10, but as an 8x10 it's going to crop some. So you always have to make sure that you preview the pictures while you're ordering them online. So once you get it to the size you want it, you're going to click OK. And then you can see it's almost about the same size, but now it's only 12 inches by 8.5 inches. And I'm going to save it. And this time I'll just save it as smaller. Now if you want to just email a picture and you want it to be a really quick upload to your email, I would just try it one more time. I'd go to image, image size, and I'd probably do, I'd probably just change the resolution to 72 again and then I'd hit OK. You can see how little it got. Now I am going to save it as email. Save as. You don't want to hit save because it's going to replace it. And I'll probably just take those out and I'll just do email. And then when I go to choose it to email it, I'll know exactly which one is the right size to email. Now that's just for people to view it but if you want if they want to print it you'll want to keep it as the bigger file size so that it prints nicely there you go that's how you resize an image come back for more tutorials